Uh, I'm going to go back a little bit further back now than 1983 because I think the first time I remember going, actually going to the wrestling matches uh, in, in Memphis, Tennessee, as a matter of fact, my dad and I went down at the Ellis Auditorium, yeah. was in like 1960, probably 1965, 1966. I was still in high school and, and, and uh, my dad and I would go on Monday nights to Ellis Auditorium. And I'll tell you right now, you know, as you, as you saw, I'm sure there were a lot of people, a lot of young people out there watching this show and saying, man, Jimmy Valiant used to be my favorite wrestler, or, or the Assassins used to be my favorite wrestlers, or Ken Patera or somebody. But I'll tell you right now, when I was going to the matches at the Ellis Auditorium, there was a tag team that was without a doubt my favorite wrestlers. I mean, these guys were there week in, week out. You know, Lance, there were some great tag teams back in those Whoa, days. The man. Von Brauners. Tojo Yamamoto and uh, what, was, what was that other guy that Tojo's partner for a long time? Mr. Well, he had a lot of Japanese partners. Johnny Long. It was Tojo yeah, and Johnny yeah. Long for Johnny a long time. Johnny Long. And Alex right. Perez, yeah. And then there were there were uh, Don and Al Green and all these guys. But there was one tag team, and I'm gonna I'm gonna strain a lot of people's memory right now to see if they remember this team. The team was called the Blue Infernos. You remember the Blue oh, Infernos? Yeah, sure. I Absolutely. mean, these guys, week in and week out, I just I mean they. I think what I really liked about them was they could take so much abuse, so much punishment, and still somehow come back and find a way to win. And I, I'll never forget when those guys finally got unmasked at the, at the uh, Ellis Auditorium. I think I actually, I think a tear rolled down my cheek when they oh. when they lost their mask. It was just so it was so upsetting and heartbreaking for me. And and yeah, oh I know, but it's the truth. And later on, I mean, it was like these guys were like an inspiration for me to get in wrestling when i finally did get in wrestling it was because i wanted to be like the blue infernos you know and what i mean you sure tried as hard as you I could. tried as hard as i could and right now i want to bring out a guy who was one of the members of the blue infernos there was frank martinez and this guy right here gypsy joe wow come on over here joe Well, there he is, sure enough, Gypsy Joe. God, nice. Is Joe, it something to have? I, I, you know, I, I've said we, it's been a while back. We had one of the um, we had one of the Monday Night Memory shows at the Mid South yes, Coliseum. That's true. Joe was there, and I was I was proud to stand in the ring and tell everybody that. Uh, that you really were my inspiration, and, and I mean, you know, if, if it wasn't for this guy, I probably wouldn't even be in wrestling today. And and I just wanted to have you down here. Say hello once again to all these oh. wrestling. <laughs> Joe, where, and, and now you live where? I live uh, here and there, Jerry. Uh, I travel <laughs> all over the country, and uh, you know, I just come down here to say hello to you. And thank you, you, for all the good things you say about me. Well, it's, it's my pleasure. Now, your partner at that time, was uh, a guy named Frank Martinez. And uh, where's Frank Martinez now? Uh, I don't know the word about it. Uh, what's he at now? Well, nothing. We can keep in touch for a long time, so I don't know. Frank Martinez. Uh, uh, do, you, do you remember, was there, was there any matches that were more memorable than others that when you guys were, were together as the Blue Inferno? Well, I have oh moving from. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not done with you, and I'm not done with you, and I'm not done with you, you blonde bimbo. You think you're going to I'm kick me off this TV? You're I'm not called. I here. called and left a message on your recorder, and I said yeah, I was going to be here. It. Did you get it? Yeah, but I thought you had enough oh, sense shut to up, stay man. away get from me. Why don't you get the little bimbo up here? Let's see if you can do anything. Hey, why don't you get the heck out of here right now? Bank. Because I got somebody out here that, that the people would like here. to see and like to hear from. Nobody wants to see you, and nobody sure as heck right. wants to hear from you. Oh, you think so, so why don't you take a hike? Why do you bring him here? You're talking to What business is it of yours? The respect. The lack of respect never stops you, Lawler. It never stops you. You're relentless. If you're going to talk about a legend, you need to be talking about me. You be, need to be saying some what? good things about me. This guy's not a legend. To be a legend, let me tell you what to be a legend. You've got to beat some tough guys. He ain't never beat nobody. He's never worked no major federation. Uh, hold on. Let what, me tell you, what are you talking about, Gypsy Joe? Uh, maybe... uh, what, what was he, a blue inferno? He had a mask on. Big deal. A big deal. Oh, you put a mask on because you don't want nobody to see your face. Listen, I mean, you're trying to this? tell me you're trying what to tell this? me that this guy's never beat it. You have tell have you beat tougher tougher guys? Well, I've been tougher than guys than you, man. I mean, if you want oh, really? to come on, come on, bring it on. Yeah, no, let me no. tell you something. Bring it on, man. Oh, you beat tough guys. That's right. He beat tough guys. That's right. Well, I guess old Abraham Lincoln was pretty what? tough. What are you hard of hearing too? Hey, you Judge, can't why, see. You talk about respect. Why don't you show some respect? I'm not if it wasn't for respect. guys like Gypsy That's Joe. Joe, let, you... let me tell you. It's not between me and you. It's him. 
He's exploiting you. He's bringing you here. What are you afraid of, Lawler? He's going to die before you bring him out here. Oh, what are you talking about? about? Call him a legend. I know what you're doing. You're doing it to make yourself look good to all these fans. Who's it going to be next week, Joe? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? He's going to bring out here and say, oh, you're the greatest. You're this, you're that. You're being used. What do you do? What do you do, Joe? He'd give you $25 and bring you out here. That's we've heard everything. And you're too, you're too stupid to see it. No, I take that back. You're not too stupid to see it. You're senile. That's what you are. You're a senile. Let me tell you what. When you started wrestling, the Dead Sea was just sick, Joe. Oh, that's and really all you funny. are right now, that's you're funny. a broke-down really wrestler, funny. and you'll take $25 from this piece of crap right here to hey, come out here. Keep your mouth shut, would you? This hey, guy is not out here to take any money from anybody. He's, I asked him to come down here because I respect the man, which is a lot more than you obviously do. You know, I respect What are you getting anybody. hot about? I'm telling you the truth, and you won't listen. What are you getting hot about? Getting hot about being a... Hey, hey! Oh, my God! What do you want to do, get it on? Oh, no. Yeah, sure. Yeah! What do you want to get it on? Is that I what you want to do? Yeah! Come on, you guys. Let me tell you, if I win... Come on, man! Oh, stop it. Oh, on, stop it. Stop it. I don't know. Uh, you I don't can't, know. You can't even go to the bathroom by yourself, you imbecile. I don't need to spend my life. I can take care of my own self. Well, hey, what do you want? Do you want to fight me? You want to wrestle me or something? Is that what you want? Yeah, no, no, no. We want you to get out. Well, I'm not doing it. And you know why I'm not doing it? It's because after I get in there and kick the crap out of you, they're going to get me for murder. Because I will destroy you. I'm not fighting you. Let me tell you something. I'm 59 years old, and I'm able to take care of myself. I don't need David Lola. The only thing is my friends. He's your you friend. Are well, we're friends like butt. him. You don't need any I'm going to whip your butt. No, you can't. No, come what? on, Joe. Come on. Let's just get it. No, no, come on. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm not Don't listen to this guy. I'm He's not his third. Lola, this is not your program. I'm an I'm icon. You're going to show me butt. something. Huh? Oh! Come on, I'll watch it, Joe. Oh, oh. Joe, you all right? I'm all right, and I can't take care of myself. I'm going to match with this man. Oh, no. No, thanks, Jerry, for being out here and having it. I'm sorry we ended up in that situation. Nothing surprises me with Mantell and how low he'll stoop to things like that. Boy, he lashed him with that shoe baby, that whip. What's wrong with him? I'm telling you, he's out of his mind. We're out of here right now. We're going to be back in just a moment. Shoot.